Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am back with another winter haul from Saison. Yes, another one. Am I obsessed? Yes, just a little bit. I have beautiful things to show you, so please stick around and let's jump right into it. Starting things off with the Julia jumper, I'd say this is quite a thick knit, but it is short sleeved, so you can get away with it maybe in a little bit of a milder temperature. It is comprised of 48% kid mohair, and it's produced in Romania. The rest of the fabric is all synthetic, but regardless of that, I would say that it is a beautifully constructed knit. I absolutely love the detail going on through here. This cable knit style is really, really lovely, and I love this balloon sleeve detail here as well. It just kind of really accentuates it with the end of the sleeve being a little bit on the tapered end, just kind of really making it nice and billowy. And that is definitely a detail I look for in tops. I just love these billowy balloon sleeves. Regardless of my shoulders being a little bit on the broad side, I don't mind the extra accentuation. This knit hits me at the hips, and although it is a thick knit, it is not a bulky knit, so you can easily tuck this in. You can either zhuzh it up here and kind of tuck it under your bra, or just leave it like this because it's heavy enough, it's kind of holding its shape and then you can just tuck it in like that, no problem. And that's what I would probably do on this sweater because I don't like it sitting out. For the fit, I would say it is true to size. I'm wearing a US 6, which is my usual size. And I don't think I can really size up or size down on this. I think it's just fitting me just beautifully. And here's the back of it. I just love the colors going on through it. It almost has a little bit of a dusty pink hue to it with a mix of browns, so it is just a beautiful, stunning sweater. For the first outfit, I layered the Julia sweater over my pleated dress that I recently picked up from Banana Republic. And I tucked it into the fetish belt and finished it off with my vintage boots. And when the light catches it, you can see all these colors that much more. I love how the details in the vintage boots really coordinate with all the colors going on in the sweater. For the second outfit, I paired it with the Maxime trousers. Now this is an incredible pair of trousers that I just picked up in the last Saison haul I just did a few days ago. If you missed that, I will link the entire playlist down below so that you can do a little catch up in case you've missed any of my episodes. And I've paired it with some new booties from Mark Fisher that I just picked up at Nordstrom in their pre-Black Friday sale. I finished it off with this adorable little faux shearling bag from H&M. I just love this look, perfect for the cold weather days ahead. Next up is another one of Saison's beautiful cashmere pieces. I showed one in the last haul. If you missed that, I'll have it linked down below for you to check out, but make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next Saison video. I do produce them fairly often. This here is the Brianna sweater. This is comprised of 95% cashmere and 5% wool. It is a really lovely sweater, very soft and luxurious in feel. Rather plain when you kind of look at it in first glance, but it does have a pretty lettuce detail here in the mock neck and also very slightly balloon sleeves as you can see there. I do love these details and it helps elevate the piece from just being a plain turtleneck. The sweater has a little bit of a slim cut. I wouldn't say it's fitted, but it's definitely not boxy or voluminous oversized at all. I'm wearing the size medium and I'd say it's very true to size. I think it fits me beautifully throughout and I don't think I would need to size up or size down. I'd say the sweater is very classic and timeless. I don't see this dating. I would have this in my closet for many years to come and pull it out whenever I need to in those cooler months. The beauty of this sweater is that it can easily be dressed up or dressed down. I love this first outfit that I put together. I paired it with one of Saison's midi skirts. I got this in the archives over the summertime, and honestly, I think it might still be available, so I'll link it down below for you to check out, and as well as everything else will also be linked down below for you to check out in case you want to go shopping. I finished this look off with my black YSL bag and a pair of patent leather Prada boots, which I've had in my closet for a very, very long time. And I pull them out here and there. They're kind of tight on my calf, so I actually have them linked in my Poshmark to try to sell them because I can't really wear them over any pants. They're just a little too tight. But if you're in the market for a size 10 patent leather Prada vintage pair of boots, They'll be linked down below if you want to check that out. 
For the next outfit, I went for an all black monochromatic look. I pulled out some tights that I've had in my closet for years. I honestly have not worn these in probably a decade, but they're still elastic and they're still working, so I gave them a try. I've seen tights be really big for this fall and winter season. I even touched on it in my fall trends video a few months back. If you missed that, I'll link that down below as well. But I paired it with a pair of faux leather shorts from Zara. I love these shorts. I've had them since last year and I think Zara does their faux leather really, really well. So these are a really great staple in my closet. And a pair of sock booties also from Zara, which I think are absolutely fabulous. This is such a really chic look. I love it. It's great and looks really dramatic, really great for an evening out. I think all eyes will be on you in this outfit. Well, ladies, I think I am three for three because three episodes in a row, I have found a pair of trousers that I love. And these are the Justin trousers, brand new in for winter. And I'm absolutely in love with them. They have a button fly. Other than that, they are a typical five pocket denim and they have a straight leg with a little bit of, I would say a boot cut style at the bottom. They're super long, I think they're 34 inseam. I'm five foot eight for reference and you can see how long they are. I'm wearing my tallest heel in order to be able to not have them buckling at the floor. But I love this look, they look so fabulous and they don't have any type of crotch detail going on here, no issues there that I've had in the past and I really love that. Really wonderful high-waisted style. My belly button is kind of like right there at the top button, so really wonderful there. And they are really great on the bum, just a wonderful fit overall. I'm wearing the size US 6. And the only thing is just the slightest bit of gaping right here at the back, nothing big at all because they fit me absolutely fine through the hips and thighs. They are, I would say, a very kind of narrow silhouette and um, it works really well with my body type. So I am absolutely in love with these. 99% cotton, 1% elastane. I do prefer my jeans to be a rigid style, 100% cotton, but I will forgive it when it's 1% elastane. When it gets to 2%, it's just a little bit much for me. These are so fabulous to wear with heels and dress them up. You can wear these on a casual Friday to the office, I think with a blazer and a button down blouse, I think would look absolutely fantastic. I went with very casual looks on these outfits. First off with a crochet top from Cezanne. I got it over the summer. I can't remember the actual name of it, but I'll link it down below just in case it might still be available, but I doubt that it is but they do beautiful crochet things from time to time and I say get your hands on them when you can because they're always beautiful. And the other is the Martin sweater. I just love that Marinier style and the sweater style. It's really stunning and I just picked that up in a couple of hauls ago. So I think that is still available. But I just love these pants. True winner. I think it's sold out already in most sizes if I'm not mistaken, but Check these out if you're looking for a great pair of denim with a very kind of bootleg style and very long. This is the Camille sweater. This is an absolutely gorgeous cardigan. I just love this beautiful detailing through the front and throughout the sleeves, actually throughout the entire sweater. And the sleeves are nice and billowy, slight balloon style with a tapered cuff here at the end. The buttons are not covered, but they are this pretty tortoise shell detail, which perfectly matches the color of this sweater. Now at first glance on the website, I did think this sweater style is very reminiscent of the Gaspar jumper. However, I think they are very two entirely different types of sweaters. For this, I have this in the size medium, and as you can see, it's nice and quite fitted. I don't say that it's overly large or overly small, overly small, I just think that it fits quite right. Now I have the size small in the Gaspar jumper in the navy color, and that small fits like twice as large as this medium. So that sweater fits very oversized and very boxy and very large. I had sized down to the small, and I think I could even have sized down to an extra small in the Gaspar jumper and probably felt better about it. 
I do have to say that it is a little bit of a slight itch factor going on here. I do feel a little bit of itchiness through my sleeves, but since I am wearing this tank top, I'm not feeling anything through my body. So that's probably just the best way to approach this sweater. For the first look, I opened up the buns and wore it as a cardigan over my Banana Republic tank top, and I paired it with some Zara jeans that are wide leg and cropped. I also paired it with my knee-high boots from Steve Madden. I think this is a very retro vibe, almost kind of a little bit of hint and a nod to the 70s, and I absolutely love that look. I'd imagine this sweater is very similar to the Gaspard in the fact that you can actually reverse it and wear the buttons in the back. I think that would be a very beautiful look, but I left it as is for the second look, and I have it just tucked in to a pair of my navy trousers from Express. I love these trousers. I think they're perfect workwear attire. And that's kind of what I was going for for this look. Just a great day at the office with some nude pumps to finish it off. And I just love this look as well. Next up, we have the Selena blouse. This is giving me a little bit of a Western vibe with this beautiful ruffling going on here at the chest. And it also has gorgeous little sequins and sparkles really perfect for the holiday season. That's one of the reasons it drew my eye because I was hoping to wear this on Christmas day. It also has covered buttons down the front and also a beautiful billowy kind of balloon-esque sleeve and tapering here at the end with a little bit of scallop detail, a little bit of sparkle as well. I'm wearing the US 6 and I'd say it's very true to size. I don't think I would need to size up or size down. I do think the sleeves could be just a little teensy bit longer on me just because they come up really short when I'm moving my arms around, but it's really honestly no big deal because it does fit me really well through my shoulders and that's more of my main concern. This is a very light cotton, so it's quite breathable, but I think you can easily layer over this to keep yourself a little warmer in the winter. And you can easily tuck this in with absolutely no problem. The length of it is just fine for that, so it's not overly long and awkward. I wish I could stand here and tell you that I absolutely love this blouse, but honestly, I don't think it's my favorite. And I'm not quite sure why, I can't really pinpoint it. I think I had a little bit of trouble styling it with other things in my closet. I immediately just wanted to throw it on with a pair of jeans because there wasn't anything else that really meshed in my closet too well for it. And I don't wanna just have an item to pair with jeans. I want to be able to have versatility in it. I opted to pair it with some wide leg trousers from Zara. I've had these since last year and they are my go-to trousers. I absolutely love them. They are super long. You have to wear them with a really high heel. I'm five foot eight for reference and they're still really long on me, but they're very nice and tightly fitted through the top here. So you have the kind of wide leg at the bottom and then it's also complementing it with the extra broadness of these ruffles here on top. So you have kind of a wide going to narrow, going to wide, creating a beautiful hourglass shape. For the next outfit, I went with a navy and black combo. I paired it with these faux leather trousers from Zara, which I absolutely love. I've had them since last year as well, and they are becoming a real staple in my closet. Just, I love the way they look. And this is a really nice evening out type of look. I'm wearing my black sock booties as well and I just love how this turned out. Very simple in the look of it, but because this blouse has a lot going on, just keeping the rest of it very nice and simple and kind of letting this be the star of the show is the right way to go, I think, in this case. Everything is linked down below. Let me know what your favorite item was. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. So let's have a conversation. And if you are new here or have not yet subscribed, I'd really love it if you please join this family. We're all about chic and feminine fashion here. We indulge in our obsession with Cezanne and also with looking fabulous and chic. So I'd love to have you come back. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big like because it really helps support the channel and helps push this video out to more fabulous ladies like yourself so they can discover this content as well. Finally, if you are on Instagram, I'd love for you to come over there and follow me because I do post daily outfit inspiration over there and I have some fun with reels, giving tips and tricks and just having a little fun there too. So if you wanna see more of me, you can check me out over there. But I also have a wide variety of videos for you to check out next and I'll put a couple on the screen here for you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back very soon. Happy holidays and I will talk to you later. Bye.